And we're getting ready to install the rest of the hardwoods. snapping a chalk line and I'm trying to follow that but the wood's not perfect and this particular board that I'm laying down has a slight warp to it outward and so I can see that because of the gap here um, so I'll show you what I've been doing to try to tighten up whenever I have that so I'm taking a block here it's a scrap block and here's another scrap block with one edge flat on it and essentially what I'm doing is I'm taking the block with the, with the groove and putting it over the tongue, I'm taking this next one, right, and I'm holding it up close. And then I, I screw in half of it. I'm gonna tap this block in. It's gonna act like a wedge and you can watch this gap close up on me. See that? So now it's a lot tighter than it was. And now I can nail this in. I already had nailed in the other half of the board so that only that side needed correction. Once I get down close like that, I can continue tapping. put in the last couple. The transition and there we, go, we got our nice floors all the way down. And this is going to be covered with cabinets, but as opposed to shimming the cabinets up or whatnot, um, I just filled it in. And it's also good practice, so uh, I, I like it when the floors are all done this way and you know, you drill holes for your plumbing instead of notching and stuff like that. Cut into the door and these are the way I did this because I held it away from the jam just slightly and then I'm going to fill that with some caulking. Uh, and then all those are going to be covered with baseboard. This is the masonite that we put down to protect and we're going to be covering the rest of it now with masonite too. And now we're protected against the subcontractors. <laughs> 